This is the best guitar you've never heard of. Here's why. When you think of premium acoustics, a few names come to mind. Martin, Taylor, maybe Guild, and of course, Gibbs. Within those brands, certain lines of guitars have garnered more fame and attention than others. For Gibson, the jumbos like the J45 or the SJ200 are the most famous. But the square-shouldered Hummingbird has certainly enjoyed a lot of exposure too. What we have here though, is a little more special. It's a Gibson Hummingbird Pro. I hadn't seen much coverage of these guitars outside of a few old YouTube videos, so I thought I'd close the gap. These guitars were made between 2010 and 2014 by Gibson in Bozeman, Montana, and are a step-down version of the proper Gibson Hummingbird without some of the glamour, but with the same core features. This means the intricate design on the pickguard is missing, and you have the more plump looking Grover tuners, but you still have the same core features and a very premium feeling instrument. This is my personal one. It's a 2013 model I bought in 2016 after recording my first album, thinking I was gonna be a superstar within a year. That didn't happen, go figure. I didn't actually go looking for it. A friend of mine wanted to check out ES-335s and I just went along. He was making his way down the electrics aisle while I was making my way down the acoustics aisle. And the second to last spot, I found this beauty. I was taken aback both by the sound and playability. It is just about the flattest but fattest knack profile I've ever played, and it's a very comfortable guitar. I had to take it home. While I was initially scared to take it out on the road, within a year it started visiting stages with me and hasn't stopped since. In terms of specs, you have the same wood composition as the proper Gibson Hummingbird, a solid Sitka spruce top with mahogany back and sides, giving you a very forward tone and allowing you to shine through a dense mix. While it is said this is not the best combination for singer-songwriters, I haven't found any problems with it. You also have a mahogany neck and a rosewood fretboard adorned with parallelogram inlays, as well as a crown inlay on the headstock. You've got a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length with a 1.7 inch nut width. Tunability is great thanks to bone saddle and nuts, as well as the Grover Rotomatics. While the Elebax element system does not have the best reputation, it's been pretty solid in my experience. It's the undersaddle piezo pickup that's part of the more famous Anthem system. And while it doesn't sound nearly as good as the mic guitar, it's very dependable and very feedback resistant. The only thing I don't like about it, it shares with its more famous brethren, the battery storage on the heel of the guitar. This means if your battery dies at an inopportune time, you'll need to loosen all the strings to change it. It's not that big a deal, it's just something to keep in mind. Battery changes about once a year work for gigging musicians like me. It comes in a vintage sunburst finish, which fades very nicely with time. Mine is about 10 years old and has been with me for about eight of those. And I love the faded look it starts having. One thing to keep in mind is the lacquer on mine, particularly around the neck area, has started fogging, which isn't unusual, but it had already started when I bought it. Maybe it's something specific to my guitar. Maybe the owner before me loved it as much as I do but it is something to keep in mind when buying these used. Also included as a case, mine is pretty well gigged and beat up, but it hasn't failed even at the more typical failure points and has protected my guitar many a day on the road. None of that would matter if it weren't for how this guitar sounds though. So take a listen.
Is this the best guitar I've ever played then? Well, that's very much subjective and I'm very much biased, but I do think it's up there or I wouldn't keep coming back to it. I like guitars with a history and this one has plenty. That's why I like buying guitars used nowadays. They inspire songs. It's not just a me feeling though. Gibson Hummingbird Pros have excellent reviews on reverb and the few owners I've talked to love theirs as much as I do mine. While the early 2010s are not one of Gibson's most highly rated eras, I find most of my personal collection comes from that time frame, and I love each and every one of them. So if you're in the market for one of these, why not check them out? What's your personal favorite? Let me know the story in the comments.